Hello guys, um, after seeing YouTube videos on how to make bristle bots, which are little tiny robots, I guess you can call them, which are powered by a battery, a motor, and a toothbrush bristle, and they go in different directions and whatnot, so I decided, oh, I want to try to make one. So this is what I came up with. You can see, it looks something like this. Um, since I didn't have direction, the two, the right bristles for this, which are angled, so it goes in, you know, a straight direction, I used two. And how I made this, um, I will tell you how. That's what the video is about. Okay, so, I took an old gift card, which is what the blue base is here, and I cut that out into a rectangle. And I, uh, cut the corners off. You'll see why later. Uh... After that, I took a triple A battery, glued it to the center of the bottom, and then I cut off, you know, the bristles of the toothbrush and glued those right about, you know, there, relatively straight, parallel to each other. Uh, the more straight you have them, the better it'll work. And then I took an offset, whatever, pager, uh, motor, vibrator, and what this does is it's got a little offset weight that when attached to batteries it'll vibrate and that's what causes this thing to vibrate and move around so what I did was I took the extra pieces of what gift card and cut them into little squares and stacked them hot glued them together so that I can mount the motor on top so that the offset motor won't hit the uh, the base while it's rotating um, you're gonna wanna set the little pager uh, motor in the center, relatively in the center. If you set set it too much to the side, that'll cause um, unbalances and it'll cause this thing to flip over when it's vibrating and moving around. So, um, what you're gonna want to do is the materials you're gonna need, obviously, are a pair of scissors, two toothbrushes, uh, uh, bristles straight down. Uh, these are really cheap. I got you know the I had these from the dentist for free, so. Uh, you can probably get them like at a 99 cent store, very cheap. You're going to need a AAA battery, and you're going to need a gift card, um, or a credit card, or any other card you want to use. And then you're going to need a pager vibrator. You can get these, you get pagers for like, I don't know, $3 at, I don't, I don't even know where, I have this one handy at home. Uh, and that's pretty much all you're going to need. And once you get that, you're going to want to take the motor out and leave some of the wire hanging out. This has a spring attached to it which makes it pretty handy. Um, glue the battery at the bottom, then the bristles, then mount the uh, motor, and then you're going to want to hot glue. I used hot glue. I guess you can use a whatever the hell that thing is, like a something to like use the metal uh, with the battery. I don't know, that that works too, but I'm, I don't have one of those. So I used hot glue, and hot glued this spring to the battery, and then over on this side, you don't have to use any hot glue. You can just use a piece of electrical tape and put it over the positive side of the battery. So when you take this wire, you can just uh, stick it in there and it'll work just fine, and when you want to turn it off, you just pull the wire out. Um, uh, if you haven't noticed, this thing's all put together with hot glue, nothing else. Um, I'm going to give you a test run right now. So to turn it on, you're going to want to do that. And then I'm going to pick this up. And it'll start to spin like that. The reason uh, I cut the corners of the credit card are because, or gift card, sorry, are because when it hits a wall, it'll rebound watch. See? And it causes it to spin like this, which is really cool because it'll stay in one place. And you can get it to go in different directions just by taking and scooting it across like straight for instance, then it'll go back to spinning once it loses whatever momentum. So, once again. Come back, come back. You get the spin. If you really want, you can get it to, you can bat it around. These are real fun. I just like them a lot. They're they're a lot of fun. 
And when your battery runs out, um, the battery should last you a while. But once it runs out, all you have to do is take it out and re-glue another AAA battery. So this is a fun project. It's easy to do. It costs very less. Uh, you know, all you get overall, you're going to be spending at least five dollars on this, and it's fun just to play around with. Look at it go. So this is my modified Bristol bot, and uh, I'd like to see what you guys come up with. Uh, comment, message if you have any questions, any concerns. All right, see you soon.